Morning everyone, Ben Qualtro here, director and head of coaching at the IQ Academy, who are responsible for running the FC Alleman Summer Camp Programme, which we are buzzing to be bringing back to the Alleman again this summer, starting up here next week, Monday morning at Bala Fletcher. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit better than what it is here today. Uh, we're looking forward to coming up here, we're going to have 130 children I think it's going to be with us on Monday morning for the week, uh, and then we roll across this week. We then go into week two over at St. John's. We've got a few spaces going at St. John's at the minute. We then move from St. John's and their great facilities with a fantastic backdrop down to Colby for week three, based down at Colby Football Club, uh, making great use of their facilities down there. Before week four, we return up here to Ballard Fletcher to finish the summer programme in Douglas. So the IQ Academy and FC Alleman have been partnering for, this is our fourth year now, this is our fourth summer of running football camp. Um, it's really important to both the club and to the, us guys at the IQ Academy that we give children opportunity to play football during the summer holidays, to make new friends and connect with new children, to spend their days doing things that they enjoy, that they love doing. And, and so this is a great way of doing that. Uh, from FC Alleman's perspective, it's really important that they're connecting with the community. Uh, and that the children that we have across the Isle of Man are getting access to the football club and an understanding about what the football club's about. We teach them about the values that FC Isle of Man hold. We give them ideas and, and an insight into what being a young player at um, FC Isle of Man would look like in, in a few years' time for them. And the things that they need to be doing now and experience now in order to maybe in the future become an FC Isle of Man player or coach or member of the staff. Um, and, and hopefully through, through the camps, Build it, build a real strong connection with the club. Um, for me personally, I've been a, an advocate of FC Alleman and what they're doing from the very, very start. Our values at IQ are to connect, understand, and evolve. And we take the children that we have in our sessions and we put them in challenging positions in order to become better, whether that's better on the football pitch or off the football pitch. And so, FC Alleman, with what they're doing, is, is exactly the same thing. They're taking players from the Alleman and giving them an opportunity to stretch themselves. Um, familiar, uh, sorry, experience different challenging situations and become better. So the two, the two um, organisations are very much aligned in that respect, and the camps are a great way of, of building on that that alignment and, and giving children and families on the Isle of Man an opportunity to, to do something really special. So in terms of what you can actually expect on the camp. Yeah, each day we will run a variety of different activities throughout the morning which goes up until about 12.30 each day we stop for lunch and then in the afternoon every single day we run some sort of tournament sometimes we mix those tournaments with the big ones the little ones mixing them together playing against each other, competing together older ones guiding the younger ones younger ones learning from the older ones um, and sometimes we mix them into older ones separately from the younger ones and they get to really go hell for leather. Uh, the, mornings, the mornings look different each day depending on who you are and what you want from a camp. So we always start each morning um, with a big uh, massive tag game with everyone joined in together. 20, 30 minutes, you could call it a warm up if you like, but it's about the kids connecting with different kids, having a laugh together. Um, and getting themselves up and active from the start of the day. Some of them will have maybe driven from Ramsey and, and faraway places like Port Erin to Douglas um, and they'll need to get a little bit of life and energy in their legs. We'll then take them round to the, uh, the tournament pitches uh, and on there they'll be playing matches, 3v3s, 4v4s, 5v5s, 6v6s, depending on their age. Um, and they'll, put, they'll start off the day with a half hour tag game and half an hour of matches. What a great start to the day. Over the next two and a half hours, they'll then spend time in practices with the coaches. You'll be teaching them a couple of different things each day. Um, it might be a real specific football boast based thing, like how to dribble really well with the ball or how to finish really effectively. Or it might be something quite um, generic, like how to use your body to get past someone. And that could be in a tag game with a ball in your hands, ball at your feet. Completely dependent like, each day on, 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 on what the kids' motivations are. As well as doing sessions with the coaches, the children will take part in some skills challenges and activities where they'll go away to the sides and they'll, they'll work through some little challenges with the coaches. Uh, and then we'll have our free play area where the children are free to use any of the equipment to create their own practices, their own games, to set up their own little things they want to do for themselves. So if you're a shy, retiring child who likes a bit of isolated play, a little bit of time alone, you get that opportunity on camp. If you're a kid who's really there for social reasons um, and you want to make new friends and connect with new children, you're going to get the opportunity to do that. 
We'll also have within the free play area opportunities to do things like crossbar challenge or little mini matches, penalties, that kind of thing. So if you're a child that's really there for pure football and you want to do football, football, football all day, then you're going to get the opportunity to do that within your free play stuff. And as I say, till lunchtime, we chill out. We might do some quizzes and some um, some activities with the coaches. And then after that, you'll get together again into the afternoon sessions, running through some tournaments. So over the course of the day, every single day, you'll experience loads of different stuff from uh, real high competitive football stuff individual challenges where you get to try and become a better football and a better player on the pitch to some generic stuff around um, moving, running, chasing, tagging, all the stuff that kids love to do on the playground when they're together. So we try and incorporate a little bit of everything on the camps and we try and make sure that every child gets to do what they want every single day.